Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing a game review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. But before we jump into that, if you guys like video game reviews, Blu-ray reviews, 4K Blu-ray reviews, some movie and some tech reviews along the way, then consider subscribing because we do all that here. <laughs> So, jumping right in, uh, I just want to state that I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan, and this is awesome. Because, they, I mean, as you can see, I have some retro games behind me, but some of these games on this collection are extremely expensive to buy physically, and some people don't have the correct consoles, TVs, or hardware to even play these games, and for 40 bucks just to get it all in one collection, this is a no-brainer home run. And the amount of extras that are packed into this disc is amazing. This, they've, they've done this right. I'm not sure how much Konami had to do with the development and stuff with the actual release here, but these are all, most of these are all Konami games. And, well, I think, actually, I think they're all Konami games. And they lent the license for somebody to port and polish up all these games and give them some quality of life stuff for next gen consoles. So before we jump into some gameplay and the nitty gritty, I just want to speak on some of the quality of life stuff, like their save states, so you can pause the game and press start and save the game at any time, which is awesome. Um, some of the arc, because it has these actual arcade games in the game, so as you're uh, selecting through some of the games, and if you look in the corner, it'll show an arcade cabinet for the arcade version. There'll be a Super Nintendo controller for N uh, Super Nintendo, Genesis for Genesis games, Nintendo for Nintendo games, and a little Game Boy for the Game Boy games. So it shows you what version. But like you can pump in all the extra lives by present start. It's it's really cool. There's a lot of quality of life stuff. Some of the games have enhancements like God mode. Uh, you can select what level you want to play on. So I know Turtles in Time and the Hyperstone Heists and even the arcade games. Some of these are really hard, or you just didn't have enough quarters to pump into them. Now you can skip to the last level and just see what it looks like, which is really cool. But this thing is jam packed with extras. So let's jump right into the gameplay and I'm going to see you guys over there. So right off the main menu, you have just where you can go select your games, your options and stuff like that. But what's pretty cool is <clears throat> once you get into the games menu, you can select all the different games that are on this. So if you notice on the bottom, it has a little arcade cabinet. So that'll verify that it is the arcade version. So we have the Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Now this is Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. This is the Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo. Then we have the Hyperstone Heist, which is the Sega Genesis. Notice it by the controller. The Tournament Fighters for Sega Genesis. Now I had this game, and this game was hard as hell. Uh, this is the NES Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project for the NES, and Tournament Fighters for the NES, which I didn't even know existed. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Back to the Sewers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Radical Rescue, and these are all Game Boy games. So it's pretty cool that it has a very wide variety of games. It has pretty much every Konami game. And then when you select Enhancements, you can go to any starting level, God Mode, um, this is just for one specific game, they're not all the same for each game. Some of them don't have Enhancements, but most of them do. So it's pretty cool that you can actually see the end of these games without pumping 100,000 quarters into it or smashing a Sega controller, because some of these games were very hard. That was the arcade game specifically. So. You don't have to put any quarters into it. Now you can also select regions by pressing the Y button on the Xbox. Now the US and Japanese region, there's some differences, but uh, I don't know them all. Another cool feature is you can actually press a button and watch, it's called watch, and you could watch somebody play the entire game. So now the, I just hit the watch button and I'm watching them play the arcade game. And I believe 
every single there's a a watch through for every single game and i believe that they're all no hit runs so these guys are running through these levels and just destroying the enemy without hitting getting hit once and that is pretty damn hard but it's pretty cool to see them do it it's so if you don't want to skip skip the levels and you don't want to pump a thousand quarters to it and you want to do it the right way at least you could watch somebody do it so at least you have a strategy so this kind of works as a strategy guide but it's pretty cool to see somebody actually get through it and really kick the game's ass so this is footage of the original arcade game now this one is one of my favorites i actually have the arcade one up cabinet you guys saw it over my left shoulder earlier in the video and it, you know it's just it's so cool to to have access to this game in so many places like you know i have the art the one up but not everyone has that and not everyone has an arcade cabinet now i think they did release these on the 360 a long time ago but it's just so awesome that it's part of this collection so like i said there is a way to watch somebody play the entire game and now specifically the ninja turtles tournament fighters for the sake this is the sega genesis version now i had this as a kid and I found this game so incredibly difficult. I don't remember ever getting past the first opponent. And now I'm watching this guy do it in a no-hit run. And I actually watched him. I just, I was amazed. I ended up watching the guy play through the entire game and not getting hit a single time. And all this extra and secret bosses at the end that I had no idea existed because I've never made it past the second level on this game. So that's something really cool. That's a really cool feature. Now, probably one of the coolest features is the turtle's lair. So when you jump in here, you get to explore their lair. But the coolest thing to me is the high-resolution scans of the original boxes. So if you had this box back in the day or you've never had the box because a lot of these cardboard boxes are, you know, don't come with the games if you ever collect, you know, it you don't see these boxes and it's a high resolution scan you can zoom in and you can read everything that's on there and judging by the wear and tear on like the folds the i think these were actual boxes that they scanned in here and it's just that is such an awesome feature and they have a box for every single game that is in this collection and it's just something really really cool that they did and like I said, for a, a huge Turtles fan and a huge retro game collector fan, this is the total package. You know, they put so much time and effort into the extras and the games in, in here. There's online play, which is awesome. You know, these games didn't have online back in the day. And now you can jump online. You know, and the Shredder's Revenge that came out not too long ago is a sequel to Turtles in Time and the Hyperstone Heist. It's the, it's part three or something like that. I don't know the exact order that those games would be in, but it's so cool. Like It even has the manuals. Look at that. You can look through each page of the actual manual of the games. Some of these manuals have been lost since the early 90s, and they somehow got their hands on it, and it's just so cool. Another cool thing was the ads. So there's, they have all these ads from back in the day that were in magazines and on TV and in newspapers and just uh, pamphlets inside other games. It was just so cool to see all this, this advertising from back in the 80s and the 90s. And I, I'm one for nostalgia and I just eat this shit up. I, I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, that Sega Genesis one, that, that is so cool to see. I remember looking in the Toys R Us catalogs and seeing pictures just like this when I was a kid. They also had all the comic books. Now, you can't read each comic book, but it'll show you the covers of it, which is pretty cool if you're a comic fan. I never got into those. Uh, also, the animated shows. So, they had seasons 1 through 10. It's just still screenshots of, I guess, some of the key moments of the episodes and the seasons. So, don't expect to be able to watch the entire episode or season. There's no video on this. 
but it's just still so cool. I used to watch this cartoon religiously as a child, and just seeing these screenshots just brings back so many memories, and just the nostalgia for this stuff is so strong with me. I absolutely love this. This this collection is fantastic. This is a must-own for any Ninja Turtles fan, for sure. They even have some behind-the-scenes stuff, which I didn't really get too far into. It's like some the making of and some like what they did to port the games. Uh, the music, it, they have each individual game and it has all the like the start menu music, the character select music, each level, boss battles, and you can just go through and play each thing. And each cassette is color coded for the specific game and console. There's also a strategy guide, so you can either watch the video strategy guide of someone doing a no-hit run, or you can read the, the Nintendo Power style strategy guides here where they just kind of tell you tips and tricks on how to beat the level and where to go next. And it's just really cool. It's the total package, and this is just such an amazing, amazing set that Konami and whoever made it put together. This is a must own for any Turtles fan and all the gameplay is smooth as hell. It feels like I'm playing it on my Sega Genesis, on my Super Nintendo. You know, everything plays great, everything looks fantastic and the, I just, I don't have a negative thing to say about this except the Tournament Fighters is still a very hard game to play. Uh, I never played any of the Nintendo games back in the day I was a Sega kid, Genesis was really my first console, so that's kind of where I started. Uh, so, I don't have too much nostalgia for the NES games, um, but they are on here, as, uh, along with the Game Boy games, which I've also never played. But again, to have this all-in-one collection, high resolution, playing on your next-gen consoles, and it's just the total package. I wish they would do more collections like this with other franchises. But with that being said, I would give this release a 10 out of 10 easily because it's got everything Ninja Turtles in it. You know, but from the games to all the bonuses and extras, it's just the total package. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10, hands down. But if you guys like this review, you can help us out by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. And if you want to see some more content like this, consider subscribing because we do videos every single day about movies, games, and some tech. But until next time, guys, have a great day.